I'm Elsa. And my name is Javier. And we are going to talk about how does the internet work. And more specifically, what happens when we send a text message to a friend over WhatsApp. So let's say that I want to send a text message to Javier. First, I write the message that I want to send in my phone. When I hit send, something that it's called TCP IP stack protocol start to work. But what is it? TCP IP is a protocol set for communication between two or more computers, regardless of the suppliers that made them. So if these devices are connected to a network, in this case the internet, they can work together. TCP IP is organized in four layers in which the information is modified, as we will see now. First, the application layer. When we send information using, in this case, WhatsApp, whether it's a text, a picture, or any other media, it is broke up into smaller chunks of data. This is because data sent over the internet are sent in these manageable chunks called packets. In our case, the text is divided into small packets which are sent to the following layer. In the transport layer, TCP assigns a port number to each packet. But then, what is port? So imagine that at the same time you are texting a friend, listening to music and watching a YouTube video. I have a pen. When the packets arrive to your devices, how do they know where, where to go? They could just uh, go to a random application and you could get your text messages displayed in your video. But thanks to port, they don't. Each application works in a given port. So let's say that WhatsApp is using this port number. When sending the information, all the packets are assigned this number. So when they arrive at the destination device, they know exactly to which application go. Leaving aside port, TCP has another important function. When sending information over a network, it checks if any packets was lost and they could arrive at destination. If so, it requests the lost packets to a client that sent the request and then puts in the correct order all the packages. Now the packets are assigned a destination address. For this, it is used an IP address. Because the internet is a global network of computers, each computer connected to it must have a unique address. These addresses have this form, where each of these numbers can take a value from 0 to 255. Let's say that our phone is connected through Wi-Fi to our house router. When we turn on this device, it asks for an IP address to our Internet Service Provider or ISP. All the devices connected to this router will work under this IP, so they can receive and send packages across the Internet. In our example, let's say that our mobile phone gets assigned the IP address 1234. This layer specifies our packets that its destination address is Elsa's mobile phone, which is connected to her router with the IP 5678. The packets then travel through the internet until they arrive at its destination. Elsa's router collects these packages and checks that they are addressed to her mobile phone. Then the information arrives at her device, where the TCP IP starts recomposing the original message. The hardware layer is the last layer in the TCP IP stack protocol. It also involves all the physical components of the communication, such as wires or routers. It is also responsible of transforming the packet's information into electrical signals, so they can travel throughout the network. So now that we have covered up all the parts in sending information across the internet, let's take a closer look to what happens to our text message in our example. So first, I write in my mobile phone the text message that I want to send to Elsa. Then WhatsApp takes this message and divides it in smaller pieces of information, called packets. These packets are assigned a port number and then are sent to Elsa's mobile phone using her IP address. The packets arrive to the phone. TCP checks if any information is missing and puts them in the correct order. It recontracts the original message. Finally, the information gets to WhatsApp thanks to the port number. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you got to know how does the internet work. Bye bye!